What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you two tools that you can use to spy on your uh, competitors' Facebook ads. So I said spy, I don't mean copy or steal. Uh, I just mean that you can go and look at more of their ads. You can see what they're up to. Um, you can't necessarily see what's working, but you can see um, how long those ads have been running, kind of check up on them every so often. Um, and then I'm going to show you how you can use other niches, niches, um, and other industries ads to produce ads for your own business. All right, guys. So we're in Facebook here, and I'm just going to scroll through and see what I can find. So I, I see Realtor.com Pro here. So that's like um, advertising to uh, realtors, right? I'm going to. Uh, make that in a different tab. I'm going to show you how you can see all of their ads here. So if you go to their Facebook business page, you can actually just click on info and ads and see all of their ads. So we're going to scroll through. You can see all of these ads that they're running, right? And then what I would do is I, I would click on all of these and see where they land just to see if they're using landing pages, are they using messenger, are they using lead forms, what are they using, right? So that's the first one. If we scroll through here, let's just see what we can organically see here. So this is a sponsored post for for um, for MLOs. Um, let's see what else we can find. So this is like a garage door repair and installation. So I'm going to click on this uh, these three dots here because I kind of want to see why I'm being targeted. So if I click on that and then I click on why am I seeing this, I can see why I'm being targeted. So uh, they're just targeting people who live near Dallas who are 18 and older. Um, that's fine. They're going through to Messenger. I just want to find another one here. See if we can find a real estate specific one. It's another consultant. Lots of consulting ads, obviously. Um, the points guy, credit card. Let's see if we can find one here. Lead generation. One sec, guys. We're just trying to find a good one for you. Um, and sometimes if you just scroll through here, this is what I do almost daily. Uh, once or twice a day, I just scroll through and see what uh, ads I, I see and so that I can kind of see what those are looking like. And I can go and look at who's doing successful ads. I can see um, those types of things. Let's just give it one more shot here, see if we can find a real estate specific. Yeah, guys, so I'm not seeing any great ones here. Here's one. Um, this is for real estate agents. Which is kind of funny, guys, because I'm actually in the market to buy a home in 2019. So um, I am actually a real estate agent or, or mortgage loan officer's ideal client because we're going to buy in the next 6 to 12 months. Um, with that said, we do have an agent, so don't heckle me for for work. Um, but anyway, guys, that's what I would do. And what you can do here is go through and find like other uh, real estate specific. So if I do like real estate um, Dallas, just to see what comes up, I would go to pages. And then I can see what big team. So this is a Robbins real estate group. I would make that in another tab. Um, go to this is a specific real estate agent so let's see if they have ads running so on this one this is a, a real estate group let's go to info and ads they have no ads running so we'll X them out Jeremy Smith real estate let's go to info and ads they've got a few ads coming so he's got it coming soon so you can kind of see what these are looking like right so um, it's just interesting to see what other real estate agents are doing you can go and see what other ads they're doing, where they're sending traffic to. So if you click on learn more here, they're just doing lead forms with multiple. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend all of that information, but if they want a super quality lead, then they, they want that information, right? Uh, it looks like they're doing lead forms for most of these, uh, and they have a schedule, a call, right? So that's interesting. 
um, and they're still doing a lead form, right? What do they want to talk about? Buying, selling, all that stuff. So that's some cool things that you want to do if you're in uh, any any space, actually. Uh, real estate, if you're doing fitness, you can just go to the gyms and see what they're running. Um, and then you can kind of see how long those are running. Can you check back in on this Facebook page? You can see how long are they going to run this specific ad, right? And then the last thing I would do is if you want to go and search for other things, right? So let's, I've never done this. I would do real estate uh, Dallas just to see what comes up. And most of these are going to be people who are spending the most. And this is a free tool. It's Ad Espresso and then uh, slash ads dash examples. And you can go and look up uh, more. And then you can actually subscribe and get all kinds of information. I don't necessarily do that, but this is a great way to go and research uh, other things, right? So like if you're in the dog walking space or like dog boarding, I could do dog boarding and see what comes up. And then I can get some really good ideas on um, on what is coming up, right? So like dog vacay, pick your own schedule. And I can see what this is like. And then from here, um, you know, dog vacay, I can go back to Facebook and do dog vacay and just see what ads they're running. Dog vacay, not vacay. I can see what ads are running. So uh, probably this one, I think it would be. And then I can see info and ads. What ads are they running? They're not running any ads right now. Uh, actually, there's no space with that one. But another good useful tool with Ad Espresso is you can go to like um, look at other industries and do like I know that we were looking for if you're looking for like uh, a car in. Real estate and cars are, are somewhat similar, right? They have loan programs for cars. Um, so what I do is go and look up car. Uh, so like Park City Ford. I know it does, does a lot of ads. Uh, and that's not coming up here. So I would go to Facebook and do Park City Ford. Yeah, Park City's Ford of Dallas. And I can click on that. And then I can go to Info and Ads. And let's just see what ads they're running, right? So uh, this can be translated into real estate, right? So if they've got, if you've got a specific, so these are all trucks, right? So if you've got homes that are very, very specific, say they're like single story homes, then what you can do is run a single story homes. You can add the sales price to test that out. You can add, um, I know what they do sometimes is they do like monthly, right? So like for all of their leases, they do like monthly, uh, what it would cost you monthly. So this is like $2.95 a month. And if, if you see that and your car payment is like $350, $400, then that's going to be really appealing to you because you see that, right? So the same thing can, can apply for real estate. So I could do a single story home that is, um, you know, you could rent it for X or you could, your mortgage is going to be $1,400. And if your mortgage, or, or excuse me, if your rent is already fourteen hundred, and you see that you can buy a home with a mortgage that's fourteen hundred, you're going to opt into that, right? It's just a, it makes a lot more sense, right? So that's kind of how you can see what other industries are doing and kind of adapt it to your business. And that's also how you can go and see what other people are doing in your industry, right? If you're scrolling through your newsfeed and you see an ad that you really like, click on that business page. Go to info and ads, and then you can see all of the ads that they're running, and you can kind of model and mold what you're doing, right? That's industry standard across the board, right? If you look at Coke and Pepsi, all of their ads are super similar. They don't copy each other, but they're really similar. Same with Burger King, McDonald's. You know, all of those types of things are, are very, very similar. Uh, all of those industries, the ads are so similar. Uh, you know, if they, if they excluded the logos and... Um, their slogans, you really wouldn't be able to tell a difference. So the same thing goes for, for Facebook and Instagram ads. You can go and see what your competitors are doing. You can go and see what other niches uh, and industries are doing to mold and adapt your marketing to what's successful in, in the space, right? So if you guys like that, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, consider subscribing. 
I create a new video every single day, 1 p.m. Central. Um, so subscribe, click the notification bell, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.